I'm worth doing it now. I'm doing it now. <laughs> it's going. It only took about two hours oh, to prepare gosh. for this. Hey, baby. Stream. Hi, Tark. So, hello, everyone. Hi, Welcome everybody. Welcome to episode 14 of Needles at the Ready. It's it, 14. Yeah, 14. Okay. I'm Kevin. I'm Ray. We it, live in Stratford, Connecticut. We do, with our dog, Tarquin. Yeah. Um, it is Saturday, July 11th. 2020. It's my brother's birthday, so happy oh, birthday, yes, Richie. Oh, yes, it is. Happy birthday, yes. Richie. Um, and yeah, this is a knitting fiber crochet podcast channel video content. There's a dog barking. Yep. Um, He's trying so to get himself settled on the bed. It's been a fortnight. It has been a fortnight. It's been a fortnight since we've gotten to chat with y'all. Yeah, we chatted on June 20 something. something. Um, so yeah. it's been a little while. Yeah, it's been a good two weeks. Yeah. We had so it was nice to see you. It is. Goodbye. 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 You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Oh my God, remember that lady? Yeah. Um, that was pretty popular back in the day. So it's been two weeks. We've had the 4th of July, which was Stressful. Stressful. To say the least. That Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and mm -hmm. maybe Sunday. I don't know how Sunday was. I don't remember that. I probably blocked it all out. Probably. It um, might have rained. No. No. I don't, I don't know. know. But, but honestly, the 4th of July was ridiculous. There was a lot of loud television, yeah. a lot of loud uh, music playing, and walking, um, chasing the dog. Like, I ran around the kitchen in circles between the living room, the kitchen, and the dining room. Yeah. In circles to get him to chase me to distract him. Um, yep. Some calming treats that we got from Chewy, which actually do work quite well. They do well. work pretty well. And then one of our viewers ha is a vet? Yes. Behavioral vet or something? Yep. Um, I'm sorry, I can't remember your name right now. I know, now, I but, don't remember the name. Um, I meant to look it up prior. But she was kind of giving us some tips like in some of the comments of the YouTube channel to let us know like how to you know change his like view of the fireworks so... If there was a boom or something, we would give him some treats, and it seemed to work. It seemed it to like help him calm down. But then everybody's everybody took advantage, I think, of the fireworks being um, canceled. Yeah, like and the town ones. So like, so um, somebody was saying that like in Pennsylvania, which is about a four-hour drive from us, depending on where you go to like Pennsylvania. I oh, think. is it? Yeah, I've only driven through there like once. We did one time. One well, of my friends like went to a college in Pennsylvania, and I remember we drove to like a road trip to go see him. I remember going there for I think it's Sturbridge Village, like that old like it's supposed to be like the that little village, and it's all like early like supposed to be historical and all like early the colonies. little mini village. Yeah, and like they turn butter and all that stuff. There. Oh, I remember that's going cool. there as a kid. Oh, nice. I think if maybe a family trip, possibly. I don't hmm. know though. That sounds yeah. cool. Um, but anyway, I think people, so fi the fireworks, the big ones are not illegal in Pennsylvania. So uh, I think people, cause like the fireworks display, honest to God, if they weren't lighting them off like two months prior to the 4th of July, yes, I could do it would have been great. But, but I was over it by that point for I sure. I was over it by May. Oh my gosh. I know. By Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. Yeah. It started Memorial Day. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and these were like huge fireworks. Like yes. the whole house was like shaking, like dazzling displays they were pretty but annoying at the same time because and they were so close that you could smell the gunpowder yeah them, right isn't that what it is gun i don't powder? know what it, yeah what it, probably i think, I think it's, it's some type of gun whatever powder. makes that whatever. explosion this the smell of them like mm -hmm. you could smell it in our backyard and yeah. on our deck they were um, in like in, in all directions but we got to watch some good movies so that yeah was cool. we did um, what else for two weeks um i attempted to go back into the office yeah um because we started being able to do that on the sixth so mm -hmm. I attempted to go in on the 7th, and Tarquin ran from me and hid in the backyard and would not come back into the house, so I did not go into the office. I stayed home. I'm going to attempt to go in, not this upcoming Tuesday, but probably the following Tuesday. You are going to try? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would like to get You just got to get back into a little routine, yeah. In my life, like, this week, even just this week, getting back to working out and eating well and, like, tracking my food... It's so easy to get out of your good habits when you're at home and you can lose motivation or oh, yeah. stuff like that. So I'm um, just trying to take those little steps to kind of get back to normal. Oh, so, that's great. Yeah. I, I feel like I didn't do much over the past two weeks. Well, you've worked. I have worked. You. Yeah. We had that long weekend, which it, it's really hard during this time of year for us too because at nighttime we have to be so concerned with his reaction to fireworks yeah. that it does limit some of the stuff that we can do on weekend evenings yeah i agree because I, I would never like leave him home because i don't we don't know what I don't, he would do yeah 
Remember uh, that one time? So, like, we were... I forgot where we were. We were at your mother's house. Yeah. And mm-hmm. um, we have, a, like, a little nest cam in our living room because when we bought the house, we didn't know how he would be when we first, you know, moved in. Going into, from like, a one-floor apartment yeah. that was, like, seriously the... Smaller, probably it was. Small. I don't know. I would say maybe the size of our second floor. Total. Yeah, it was probably. Really it was smaller small. than our first floor. And um, so anyway, so like, we couldn't see him in the camera. Usually, he likes to like lay in the window and stuff, and we didn't yes. see him in the camera. And then when we came home, the the gate to go up the stairs was like opened or pushed. Yeah, pushed through the the rug and the bathroom floor was all like tangled up. It was all because the smoke detector down the basement was low on battery so it was like making that beeping noise yes he was like frothing at the mouth like freaking out yeah so we wouldn't i would i'd just be really hesitant so, to leave him home alone anyway great. yeah but that's yeah. kind of been our two weeks sure that's been Work, our two weeks fourth of july knitting knitting tons of knitting yeah Lots there of were knitting. a lot of there was there's a lot a, of there's been a lot of knitting the yeah past two weeks. agreed um so before we jump into the knitting mm-hmm we have just like some quick things kind of to go over. Like so admin stuff? Admin stuff. All right. So we have we have two Mal's knit-alongs. We have our stress-free Mal, which yeah. is currently running. It's been running since April, I believe. April 15th. April 15th. It's going to be running uh, through August 31st. Yes. We're co-hosting that with Amy from Happy Little Yarn and Andrea from the Cat, Cat Lady. Lady Podcast. Mm-hmm. So this is just a, it's kind of like a COVID make-along, like no stress, yeah. make whatever you want, yep. any type of craft. Yep. Uh, we all have threads on Ravelry um, that you can, we have chatter threads and FO threads. Each podcast is giving a prize. We are doing Trilogy Yarns is the prize for this one. And I think we are, and a yarn or die for maybe, I thought. Yeah, yarn or die for. Right? Trilogy yarn, yarns. and we might throw in a, a uh, bag from Naughty Knitting Sacks yes. as well, because we have quite a, we have a few of those. So we have that. Do you have your yeah? Thing so we were doing a uh, little what's um, that, word that we were doing shout out. Yeah, spotlight, spotlight. There we go. Oh, it's a spotlight. Well, look, the, our lighting's a little bit better when I do that. Maybe I'll keep my hands up the whole time. Don't please. Why not? Because <laughs> I'm ready. I feel like I'm ready to catch like a football. I was. See, look at the difference. Yeah, I was. It's, I don't know. I was going to say, you look like you're almost ready to catch like a... A baby? A vault? No. Not a oh. baby. Nobody should be throwing babies at you. No, but if somebody like drops one... <laughs> no! Should we hit restart on this podcast? Probably. I know. What am I doing? Our spotlight. Okay. I have a software update available. I'm not going to be doing that right now. Did... I had it set up on my phone and now I have my iPad and I'm a Your little Your phone's bit... right there though. Oh, yeah. I know. I think it would be better on the iPad. That's okay. Are you waiting for me? We absolutely are. Okay. Everybody's on the edge of their seats do, waiting do, to see who you're spotlighting. Do, 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 do. Um, okay. So, this is... We had... Did I say? Absolutely not. Okay. We had 247 posts in our uh, FO thread on Ravelry for the No Stress Mal, which was fantastic. Uh, um, how do I get to my... Here we are. Here we are. And though, um, so we did a random number generator, and number 119 was our showcase for today, and that comes from Jared, uh, SD Pen RN, out of Suez Falls, North Dakota. And he did a sockhead slouch, which I can totally get behind because I just said the other day that I'm probably going to cast another one of these guys on. There you go. Very nice. That shows up pretty good. That does. So this was, um, and he's got a, a project page. He used Malabrigo Yarn Sock in Colorway Playa. Nice. Playa. Yeah, that's a nice colorway. Yeah. I like it. And the cool thing, so Jared, um, thank you for entering. Jared yes, is also an RN, a nurse, hence his name. I got that. At a um, state prison. Oh, Which is wow. really interesting. Yeah. And he says on his Ravelry page, if you have any questions, you feel free to reach out to him. Because right, cool. not a lot of people understand what that means. All right, and then... Okay, so that's awesome. And then our... Next one? Yeah. Let's hear it for the boys is is ramping up. Um, we have a lot of entries on that one as well. We did not draw a spotlight or anything for that one. Were we supposed to? I don't know. I don't, I don't think we were... I don't do know. It. I don't know. I don't know what we're supposed to do during this stuff. Me neither. I don't think... I'm just supposed to show up and talk. That's right. right? That's all yeah, we, we do. Yeah, we just well, show we up do. and talk. We just show up and talk. And so, um, anyway, so that's... That's going strong. We're really excited to... Uh, I'm very excited to see all the entries. Let's talk about that one, actually. 
We do have. So we have seen a couple snuggle. Uh, the snuggle is real, pals. I like your eyes. Thank you, my eyes. I appreciate that. <laughs> You're a freak. <laughs> um, so we have. Oh, the oh, one yeah, with the yeah, dog, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. We made oh. it for the dog, which is freaking adorbs. I'm going to pull it up. And then there was another one that I saw, and I feel like this one got posted early on. Mm, this coffee is hitting the spot. Uh, oh, Chevis is out on a boat. It's here for the boys having fun. FO thread. So Take I believe the one you. I saw. Oh, here I it is. I feel like we're not talking to our Rob people. Seattle. Rob you Seattle. It? You're yeah. so fast. So here's Rob Seattle. Let me lower my brightness. Look at this freaking dog. Oh my god, it's so real. cute. I love the interior color of it. Me too. What a handsome dog too. Right? And then there was another one to, I think another snuggle is real on the same page that somebody else did. I thought this... No. I think it was page two. Page two. So, yeah, um, so, mm -hmm. so this, as I'm looking through this, so this... I feel um, like I'm so close. What should we call everyone. it? Oh, and there's Cody. Hi, Cody Nitz. See, Cody, remember? Oh, during yeah. During the knit night, he had talked about this. Here's a Vertices Unite Baby Blanket, which is really pretty. We'll talk about that a little bit more. Where was the other one? There was another really good snuggle is real in here. Oh, this yeah, one. Oh, so wow, this he is, looks really good in that. This is Michael Seelbach. Mm -hmm. Sub, right? So his is all like purples it looks like some purple and gray oh i love it yeah i love it that's a wow, really good great one. job here's a here's i feel a like i should knit one of those hmm. yeah we have a lot of great like i i went through this it's the so other exciting. day it's really exciting. there have been a lot of posts since i've gone through this though yeah um but i went through this the other day and the projects in there are amazing so thank you guys for participating uh this one again is just highlighting male dyers designers patterns being made for the guys in your life that's or right you or yourself um, yeah i'm i'm gonna um cast on a triple threat we'll talk about that in a little while oh you are i am i am not nope and then so another thing we totally forgot to do this last episode oh yeah is we wanted to say thank you because we hit our three thousand well not, maybe we should we get hit, a little bit more organized we hit three thousand no you know what last time we didn't hit we didn't have any notes last time so i had my notebook oh look at my page well, we hit 3,000 subs um, See, it's right on the channel. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So thank you very much for that, guys. Um, oh, I my God. Say, I know. It's absolutely ridiculous. We like, say it every episode, but like. Yeah. We are very grateful, very appreciative. It's amazing. Yeah. The, the community, like yeah. the community that we are a part of and that we're developing and that are joining us, you know, every fortnight and talking with us. It's really awesome. Yeah. That you guys come yeah. back every, every two weeks, mm -hmm. um, watch like comment the comments are ridiculously amazing we love them i love yeah. i love reading yeah. them we res we try to respond to every single one i'm pretty sure that we're no we, we have a couple to get to okay from p last one okay Probably we had a lot maybe. of comments in the last video yeah which we, we have loved, a couple back so that to get fantastic. back to um but yeah we 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 really enjoy doing this like i look mm -hmm. forward to this me too every yeah me two too. weeks me too but we have a couple of things to um announce kind of announce with the three thousand subscriber giveaway yes yeah so we are because we are so beyond grateful, and I know we don't have to do this, but we really appreciate it. We would like to do a giveaway for our yes. three thousand subscriber giveaway, or no, our three thousand subscriber milestone. Milestone. And what we'll what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and give um, we're gonna gift two patterns, uh, a pattern each to two winners. Correct. Up to a ten dollar value U.S. Yes. Um, and. That'll be on Ravelry. We're gonna have a question. The prompt. Why don't you say? Why don't you talk about? This? So the prompt is going to be right. So we decided that it's gonna be if you could have any superpower, what superpower would it be? Yes. And that was prompted by a movie that we've watched, but we'll talk about the movie later. Yes. And then the second part to that is we are going to do another live. We've been doing this anytime we hit like a milestone. I know. So we'll do a we live. We were gonna do one last weekend, but we didn't tell anybody. We about forgot, it, so we didn't do it. So we're gonna do a live next Sunday. Yeah. We'll Hopefully do, you guys can come. Let's do two p.m. Eastern time because then that allows okay. us to have lunch and feed the dog, and get him tired up so we could chill out downstairs. Okay. So Sunday next Sunday, which is yeah, the, I'll write that down too. Um, something of something. Of Sunday July. It should be Sunday the nineteenth of July. I have a credit card payment due that 
that day. 2 p.m. Eastern. Yeah. And then this one we'll do chat. We're going to kind of... Oh, we're gonna so we'll, we'll do announce, like a hybrid. Yeah, so it's gonna be kind of like a podcasty type of thing. We'll we'll go over like stuff that we're working on. We'll show um, all of our prizes that we're gonna be giving away in yes. the make alongs. We'll draw winners for the two. The, yep, the patterns. The three three thousand. And we'll be chit chatting. We'll be knitting. We'll show some our progress. Yeah, yeah. It'll be like a, a chill. It's gonna be a not like our podcast. An or not interactive chill, but. podcast. There you are. We'll be an Good interactive job. podcast. And we'll show all the prizes because we do have quite a few of them, so we'll be able to yeah. go through. If we were to show them, it would take a long time. Yeah, it'll take a long time. And then... Which is incredible. So Thank that, you all for your donations, the makers and people who have been so kind to the podcast. Absolutely. Yeah. That's, that's really yeah. amazing. And then we... Speaking of that... Um, you we, look very, like, profesh with your... I love... I just pen. like having a pen in my hand. It's a little distracting. Is it? Not going to lie. For you? For me. I'm not sure about everybody else, but for Are, me it is. But you continue. It's fine. Um, speak, so going... I don't know where I was going. Sorry. Maybe hold the pen up a little higher. Maybe it'll remind you. Um, so, oh, going back to, like, people... Makers oh, and other people... Yeah, I write well. Um, who've been super generous to the podcast. Is that uh, Naughty Knit... Naughty? 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 Knitting. Sax. Has provided us with a coupon code to share with everybody. <sighs> I think this was so generous. This yes. is so incredible. And a lot of you um, found the her bags very humorous and fun. And um, the if you haven't checked out her Etsy shop already, um, check it out because she doesn't just have the naughty. Um, there's also some fun things in there too. So yeah. Occasionally she'll do some like Marvel characters and superhero oh, stuff. Yeah, so keep an eye out for that stuff. But she did share a coupon code with us, which we'll put in the show notes down below. And it is... Prickle... Right? Prickle Pants 15. Prickle Pants 15. So you guys remember my story from last time about Prickle the cactus. Prickle Pants yeah. 15. Prickle Pants 15. One word. And one then phrase. last piece of admin is you have that, right? I don't know what you're what we're talking about. Oh, yeah, guys. <laughs> Do you have them on your iPad? Mm, well, I think so. I don't know. One day, one day, I'll be prepared. Never. Yeah. So, on um, we were contacted a few weeks ago by um, Mario, and we'll have a uh, a link to his. Um, we'll list him for his Instagram if you want to reach out to him. He's working on a website now. He was playing around and just randomly kind of sent us. Um, some logo ideas yes which is really awesome so um we were kind of talking back and forth and while we love our logo here that was just you know something that we kind of like threw together um and he wanted to design us a, a logo and he did and we love it we love it we so have- i hope hope you guys do too we were gonna try to get um some oh. stuff some like merch, I guess, for ourselves. How 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 do I turn the? Well, ju- I think you'll be fine with this one because you it's think quite, so. Yeah. Okay. So this is the. So this there's is two there's, versions. Yeah, there's two versions. Um. Oh, you can see like our. You can see it. Like everything. Son of a gun. It's like reflecting like hardcore. Yeah, because of the black. Yeah. Background. Oh look! This, it. So you can see all this stuff. Look, there's your. There's my group. Your group. My baby group. Baby group. All right. Do the other one. The other one will not be reflective. Okay. It's our strawberry plant. This is going to be really bright, though. It shall be. I don't know how to. I don't know how to use technology. How do I turn the brightness down on on this? No, that's actually not bad. What do you guys think? I love it. I, I love it, too. I really love we got it. it. So we asked for a black background. And a white background. And a white background. And I love them both. I am partial to the white for some reason, but I love I kind of like the, I like them both, too. I think I think maybe that's where it was, is that you were partial to the black and I was partial to the white. But yeah. I do. I, I really do love um, both of them so much. Me, too. I, it, it's perfect. Like, it really is. It's perfect. So, Mario, I don't know how to say your last name, but... Um... This is Mario. Oh, Lord have mercy. There you go. We're good. Yeah. 
Um, we will have that in our show notes. We will absolutely have that in our show notes. And he kind of like so sent some ideas for like some like merchandise and stuff like that. So like you know, uh, mm, that's gonna be really hard to say. On like a T-shirt, whatever. Yeah. So so anyway, so we'll be updating that. Yeah. And I don't know a little tote bag. So we're gonna we're gonna get some stuff for ourselves, and then yeah. you know if anybody's interested, I don't know. We might do some stickers so yeah. that when we do send out like uh, giveaway stuff, we can yeah. include some stickers. So we're and so excited. Thank you so much. That's incredible. Yes. Um, we're 20 minutes in and we haven't talked about any knitting. Well, you wanted to do admin like right off the I bat. Know. Um, I Are people still even here? Like, I don't who's know. bored? I was going to say something else too about this. And then we're toying with the idea. We're not sure yet. We may just come up with the needles at the ready Instagram page. Um, so that might be something too. And then if we do that, we'll let you guys know. We'll post it on our regular pages. Yeah. Um, just to kind of separate them both so that our personal accounts, which I don't mind. But, I don't mind either. Um, I don't know about people who don't like our knitting stuff, who are get flooded with all of our knitting stuff. Oh, I see what you're saying. You know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, that's Truth. that. Now, let's get, let's get on with it. Let's get into the knitting. Fo and the category is FOs. Pose. My God. Wait till we talk about that. I'm very <laughs> excited about it. Coming up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. FOs. All right. FOs. Also known go? as finished objects. Finished objects. Yeah, we should, probably should say that because somebody was like, what does that mean? Yeah, somebody, um, the hose. So in, somebody wasn't sure what hose were. <laughs> the hose were saying it? No, not the hose. Who was saying hose it? The were. hose? <laughs> Those hose. All okay. right. Okay. Who wants to go first? Ba, ba, da, ba, ba. We each have two FOs? Yeah, I have two FOs. Okay, cool. Okay, I'll go. All right, you go. Okay. So this is... um. These are my socks that I They're finished. They're pretty. They're so pretty. I love them very much. I did, um, I just did a simple sock. Vanilla. Vanilla. Yeah, not a simple sock. Vanilla sock uh, with like a rounded toe. Uh, fish lips kiss heel. This is with um, Nomadic Yarns mm. Trelawney. Trelawney colorway. Um, it was my very first self-striping yarn yes and it was it's so soft it's was wonderful to work with i love how it striped up um i did i let the yarn kind of tell me what i wanted to, like to do with the cuff so i didn't do i didn't count my rows or anything like that i just used this green um i did the orange on top oh can you not see it on this one no you can you can i can yeah oh yeah i did the orange i thought the little the little like one, the cast on edge I did in um, the orange, and then I, um, yeah, I think I did it. It's a seven-inch leg, mm -hmm. and then my GD long foot. It's a lot of knitting, y'all. So is. I only did contrasting heels, and I still have 25, 20 grams left over oh, of the yarn. Problem. Yeah, uh, so, you know, this it'll be good to add to a scrappy project or something like that. You can maybe do that with a sock head, a scrappy sock I'm, head. Yeah, I have a, I have a scrappy sock head in mind. Um, oh, yes, we've talked about that. Yeah, but I think I was going to use the Lolo Did It stuff, but yes. I might. We have a lot of other things. So I might actually try a scrappy blanket like everybody else is doing them. No? I mean, it'll be like four years, but still, it'll be good. So I love these. They fit really, really well. My new favorite heel ever. This is actually true to color. Right yeah, here. no, it looks It's yeah, it very, looks very good. Yeah. Um,. Fish I Lips Kiss, green. it's a dollar. Yes. I love the green, too. It's a dollar on Ravelry. It's like 48,000 pages long, but you only really need a page and a half for the pattern. It's super easy once you have it, like, you know, memorized. Um, yeah. Love it. Very nice. Those are mine. Um, so I'll stick with the theme. I finally okay. finished my first pair ever of Rose City Rollers. Now, did you have a chance to try these on, like to like to really yes, wear them? Yes, they fit. They fit well. Uh huh. I like the fit of them. Um, I had started these twice. I initially started them on a two point two five millimeter with seventy four stitches, and I didn't like the way it fit. I felt it was going to be too wide. Yeah. So I went back to a two point five millimeter with 64 stitches. It just seems to work with me except on the top of my foot. So yeah. I believe I'm going to add two stitches from now on, possibly when I get to my heel. I don't know. 
I still, I'm still just like trying to, yeah, I'm still trying to figure out the perfect uh, formula. So this is knit with uh, Once Upon a Corgi. This is her Marie Cutie base. Mm -hmm. It is Coradale, 75% Coradale, 25% nylon. The colorway is called Death. And then the toes, which is the only thing I did contrasting, is Stroll. I can't get over the halo on those, which actually. Which is um, Knit Picks, Stroll Fingering, and Rainforest Heather. Mm. I, actually, oh, I my didn't other talk pair, about my contrasting heel. Your contrast heel is Knit Picks, Stroll, Stroll but and I can't Cork, remember. I believe. Oh, Cork? It might be called Cork or tre uh, Treasure. I think it's Treasure. Treasure. Mm, the gold. Um, so, yeah. So, I did uh, Heel Flap and Gusset. I do 32 rows. For my heel flap and gusset, which I guess I could maybe do 18, and that should increase my... This is my instep, right? Is this your in, Yeah. Right? Yeah. I don't know. So I believe that's what it is. And then I go down until I have 32 stitches on my needles, and I catch her. 32? You mean six, oh, 16 on each. Total 32, 62, uh -huh. uh, or 16 on each, right. and that works really well for me. I've tried. I've done the 12, and I've done the 14, Same. and 16 seems to be that perfect. Yes. Um, spot for me so that's what i'll continue to do for my toes and yeah fine so and the reason i use this yarn is i've now used a full skein i'm trying to work through skein. No, that's amazing so how I've much did a, you have left you had like a little nugget left i have very little yeah. i i yeah i mean i probably have enough to throw into like a hat or like a scrappy sock or mm -hmm. something but very very little of it um and i do i love this it feels different than superwash merino the corridale the corridale yeah um, but i do it's a it's a really nice base and it's the only time I've ever worked with it. So, yep. And I did these on my Chow Goose. Chow 32 Goose. inch. Okay. So that is my first FO. Great job. You have a second FO. Oh, I didn't talk about... I did these on 9 inch... 9 inch circular needles. No. Um, I did these on 9 inch circular needles. The Chow Goose 9 inch circulars. You did? I did. So I just wanted to, sh to share that. And... I thought they went really fast. On 2.25. On 2.25. And I did... 68 stitches, mm -hmm. um, which 72 was, oh, it didn't yes. have any negative ease. 64 was um, a little bit too tight. The stitches were kind of stretched out. This has like, hug. it's huggable. Hugs my hugs my, my dogs. Maybe I should do a 2.25 at 68 stitches. And try, I mean, try the 68. I thought I tried this. Didn't I try this you, one? And then you I thought might have to be little... careful and modify, like with any patterns, like you might need to modify a little bit with the, the number, but I, so I love these. You and I were talking about that and about socks. And I think what gets stuck in my head is the pattern version of socks. Um, so I, you know, I've knit, Wonderland socks, right? Yeah. By well, Maker's actually, Knitting, just... and I've knit the Coffee Talk socks by Tracy yeah. Miller. And both of those are pattern, and it's, you know, your typical 64, 72, or, 72. or something else. Like, there's the three sizes. Maybe mm -hmm. it's below 64. And those work well for me as 64 stitches on 2.5. Mm -hmm. I love the fit of those. And that's because they're texture, there's, there's pattern. Yeah. So there's some given, pattern. you know. Yeah. So maybe when I'm doing a straight up stock in it just vanilla sock i should try 2.25 with 68 give myself the extra four stitches in c but i thought yours when i tried those on i thought like at right where my toes were it was a little bit loose but it's hard well, but to also say because, because my feet are so much bigger than correct. yours too so like i so knit, maybe i'll try it yeah because i knit I knit seven inches yeah. and then put on my toe. Maybe if I try it with Rose City Roller, since it's a quick knit or something similar, like a really short sock, just to get an mm -hmm. idea. And then this way, if it doesn't, I won't do the second sock. Use some Knit Picks yarn. Yeah. That's kind of in. Yeah, know, give it a try. A little bit um, not yeah. as pricey. So yeah, okay. Cool. There we go. All right, so Good. what's your um, second one? Um, my second one is, if you all remember, I did one sock uh, about a month ago or so, maybe, I think. Um, so I did the second one. Very nice. Look how pretty. I mean, honestly, this. I really love the red. I love the red. This was, uh, Lolo did it in her quotable Dumbledore Club in the February 2020 colorway. Um, it's red. It's got some browns in it too. Uh, no. Um, no, there's it's some, like, so it's red. It's a tonal red. There's definitely some black in there. There's probably some it's, shades. It's really pretty. It's very pretty. Yeah, it's really pretty. 
Um, I did these toe up, another vanilla sock. I really like the vanilla socks. Um, I did these on 2.25, 68 stitches, toe up Judy's Magic Cast On, which I love, actually. It's so easy. Um, and I did another Fish Lips Kiss heel, which is my favorite heel. I think I'm going to do that forever now. Um, and then I did a, I think I did a one and a half, I think I did a one and a half inch, inch cuff on these. Now, I'm not happy. I tried, each of these socks has a different bind off. So let me take them off the sock blockers. Um, so I did one with somebody else's magic, magic cast on, cast off, bind off. Simple, stretchy, not not magic, stretchy bind off, and I I'm I thought it flared out a little bit. I think that though is an issue. I just think it's an issue with too. Toe up socks. Somebody mentioned a, bind a, off. a sewed a sewed bind off. So like oh. you see, and it, and apparently it's something like a uh, this is the this is the magic bind off or the stretchy bind off. I love the edge that it makes though. Like if you see the top, yeah. it kind of looks like an I cord a little bit. It doesn't look to really flare see. as much as that other one. No. So I thought this flared a little bit. So then I wanted to try something different. So Nancy from Trilogy Yarn, um, during one of our... Actually, the other night, Thursday, during our knit night, I had I actually heard her... We'll talk about her, too. She's got a podcast that will... Boring. Excuse me. Yeah. I've been up since 6.45. Go to sleep. So... We can anyway. So we were talking about it, and in her podcast, she talked about how she does her socks. So she just knit, she just loosely bound off through the back loops. Um, oh. She said. So I tried that, and it looks like it's a, it's a little bit of a mess. Um, here. Well, this one you struggled with, anyways. With you have to oh, take I it did. out. I you did have to take it yarn. out. Yeah. So. So, anyway, I'm looking for um, suggestions. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to try that sew that sewn bind off. Uh, somebody had posted it before. If if, if you can yeah, put a link like to I've that or this. yeah, or uh, post it the link again on our comments under under YouTube or send me a DM um, so I can look that up and I'll try it on my next toe up pair. So that was, but I love it. Doesn't matter because when they're on, it's really not yeah. noticeable at all. Um, Nobody's gonna ask you to take off your socks to see if they flare. Yeah, can I can I see the cuff? Can your I socks, see the flare please? on do your you, cuff? Do you flare? Um, and then anyway. But I love them. I love the color. The, the you know the fabric it made was really really nice, and I used a Chowgu Magic Loop on one of them, and then a nine inch circular, nine inch circular needle for the other one. <laughs> do you feel that your um, gauge is different using the two, or do you find that no, they both look it? Um, the stitches feel look the same way. Don't you think? This is your magic loop one, and this is your nine-inch circular one. How do you know? Because this is the you see. Oh, that you can line. see the seam. This one that should one doesn't have, have a one seam. seam, possibly. But I don't know if you can. You can probably not even see it. No. Actually, so this no, is the this, is, this was the magic loop. Yep. And yep. this one is, is your nine-inch circle. The nine-inch circ. So and yeah. I think fabric-wise, and my stitches it, yeah. are you know, are uniform. Yeah, I they thought. look pretty similar. Yeah. So right. they fit. They fit great. That's it. Those okay. are my foes. I have one FO. This is was oh, a God. brand new cast on. I love this. And an FO since the last one. Oh, what's that? I don't know. What's in here? Oh. That's why. This was all oh, I had that's left, the leftover. Leftover of my sock yarn. Yeah. So you did a good job. All right. You did a good job utilizing all the yarn. So, guys, this... This I love so much, Kev. Hold on. Oh. I feel like there's more in here. It's like Mary Poppins' bag. It's like Mary bag. Poppins' bag. I watched... Did we talk about the, the new Mary Poppins? No. No? But I watched it a while ago, but I did, I did like it with... What's her name in it? Um, I love her. Me too. What's the hell's her name? Her name is Emily Blunt. Emily Blunt. Yeah. She's good. I like her. Ready? She has a really hot husband. Yes, she does. Which, our god kids t have said that I remind them of him. Mm. My faces. Faces that I make. The faces that you when make. When he yeah. was in the office. Oh, this smells nice. 
So, guys, I have made oh, I a love Pure it. Joy by Hohi Locatelli. Miss Hohi. So, look at this. God, Lovely Kevin. Shawl. Look, it's like never ending. Here, this shows really well, right? Yes. I love this. So, we have both yarns are by. Oh, um, it's so good. Trilo oh, and I'm, we're doing good. We're showing the right side right off the bat. We, we are? Next, yeah. Look at us go. Good job. Um, both the yarns are by Trilogy Yarns. This color, the main color, is on her plush base, which is an MCN, so 80% superwash merino, 10% so cashmere, 10% nice. nylon. 450 yards for 100 grams. And this is Little Nugget. Little Nugget. Little Nugget is based on Cody Knit's Dog Diamond. Diamond. So this is just vanilla ice cream with chocolate oh, it's so, syrup. It's so really, melty. It's, it's really beautiful. amazing. It's so soft. Like mm -hmm. I think this is my first time using MCN. Really? I did one in a hat. I think I did MCN in a hat oh, one time. Look at you. It was really nice. Knitting for seven months and you're already bougie with they your sent, MCN. They sent it to me. It was part of the no, great no. club. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't know what the hell it was. Who was it? Northbound Knitting. North you're Northbound Knitting. Mm -hmm. um, so, yes. And then the brown here that's used in the... Sh eyelets and then at the bottom is also trilogy yarn this Teddy is in hair. her glamorous base which is 80 percent superwash merino 20 percent nylon this is 400 yards and this is teddy bear mm. and i kid you not i knit this in about a week yeah maybe a week and a half um if you had just started needles. it right before our last um no. our last podcast yes yeah you, you only yes, showed yes, yes, yes i feel like you only showed right, a little bit you're right I thought it. I thought I had cast it on after that, but you're no, right. No, I, I you showed it. Yeah, I, but just the start of it. Right, I had started mm -hmm. it on like a Wednesday, and I finished it the following Friday. So, yeah. the, so last Friday I finished this. Um, blocked it. We took pictures of it. I'm actually gonna do. I was a page. photographer. He was the photographer, and I love this thing. It, I love it too. So it's huge. It's supposed to. I think it's like 82 inches. Right, is what it is, possibly. Oh, Kevin, it looks so I good. Think... I love the colors together. Yes. You know, and like when we had gotten this yarn, you thought that these two skeins went really well together yes. when we first got it. And that was Correct. the intention was to try to use them both together. Yeah. I, I. And I think this was a perfect, perfect. It really is. And I love the yarn, first off. Yeah, the yarn I is love the MCN. Glorious. I love the colors. This is how much I have left of the teddy bear. I feel like I may have made a mistake somewhere here which i don't care because it was supposed to use like 380 yards of the second color I really thought. and i remember saying how well this is 400 was, yards yeah where i should have 20 yards 100 grams. left of each mm -hmm. this the main color was unless i read it wrong the main color was supposed to no i'm right no, the main color that. was supposed They're to beautiful. use 400 in like 10 yards or 430 and i literally had about this much left mm -hmm. like wound up i had one gram we, me we measured. I had a gram left of it. And then this one, I ha I didn't measure it but I, or weigh it. I have a bunch. Yeah, you do have a lot. So I don't know. Maybe I did something wrong. If I or did, maybe I Nancy was just a little bit generous. Maybe. When she you, uh, caked this up or but skeined it up. I love this thing. I, I It's such a good knit. So we've talked about, a, you know, before that our Stephen West shawls that we did. We said that those were good first shawls. Yeah. I actually think that this is a good first shawl. Really? I do because it it's a garter stitch shawl, mm -hmm. so it's super easy. If you're new to even knitting or shawl knitting, it's not a very complicated pattern. It is a paid for pattern. It's five dollars, five US dollars. Okay, um, that's good to know. You need a US six, so that's a four millimeter needle. I follow that suggestion with it, and um, yeah, but I I think it's a good. Number one, teaching shawl. If mm -hmm. you're not used to some of the techniques in it, you could do it. They're not super hard to learn. And I just think it I think it would be a really good, simple I want to do one. I want to do one really, really badly. Because of the the size of the needle and the fingering weight yarn, it's light and it's drapey. So I, I, I will be knitting another one of these. Yeah, I love I it. I believe, I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to get some leading Can line fiber on? art yarn and do one. I would love a um, a gray one. I would love a 
mm. but the main color is a gray. Yeah, yeah I so think, that I think your color choices were fantastic. Thank you. I think I, I think it it's great. And it just knit. I swear, guys, it knit itself. It's like Molly Weasley was in here and did a Molly. and just it was knitting by itself. I think it's great. It looks really good. It's a good TV knit. You once I um once I l- memorized oh, so the pattern good. and you could and I memorized the pattern after the first section. Yeah. Um Well the yarn feels so good. Yeah. It, che- it's, yeah, it's, check out Trilogy Yarns trilogyyarn.com. Yes. She oh she's got her advent calendar. calendar. She just added a uh, 13 days of Halloween. Yes. In uh what the hell is it? Hocus called? Pocus. Hocus Pocus, which I, is like, I got one. Speaking of them. So that will be coming hopefully soon. Not soon, but, you know. Well, Halloween. But speaking Halloween. of Hocus Pocus, do you know, I read, you know how like you just have um, random articles on. I can pull this off. Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, I, I Sorry, love go ahead. Regular, no, I love it. Random articles on Facebook. Um, random articles, like, I don't even know what they are. It's from stupid places too. That makes you keep hitting next page or whatever. That oh yeah, is. I, hate, I, I I don't look at those. I do all the time. No. It's a waste of my life. But I, I get do. so pissed off. Me too. But I keep. So like, going. can I just watch the video? No, I hate videos yeah. like that. Um, but this was an article on uh, Ebert, right? Robert Ebert, the, the movie, movie critic, right? Hocus Pocus was one of his. So it was like his top twenty-five hated films. Mm-hmm. Hocus Pocus was one of them. Well, I mean, it's it's <laughs> it's not. I mean, it's not Oscar worthy, yeah. but. It's a I mean, cult classic. It is. Like, and I think in order to become a cult classic, like you it's probably not an Oscar winning. Correct. Like that you know, and movie. Teen Witch are my two Oh, like, I love Teen my Witch. My two Halloween movies. Yeah. That's like I haven't seen that in a long time. I freaking love that movie. Me too. Do you think she lost her powers when she threw away the pendant? No. You don't think so? No, I don't think she needed it. I don't think she needed it either. She's pretty. Yeah. I used to have a crush on her. You did? Yeah. When you were straight? <laughs> <laughs> all right um, i might wear this the rest of the podcast go for it. it's very light like it's it is not, light it's, it's very beautiful. light yeah um so yeah i i highly recommend that i will definitely um, do it oh you know what we forgot to say the rose city rollers and that's my bad was a oh, pattern my. by mara Catherine briner briner yep. i don't know that i said it but in case i didn't i was I gonna make sure i got it in there and it is a free pattern on ravelry mm-hmm. so now speaking we're, of that we'll move into our whips whoopsh, whoopsh, whoopsh. and um, the category so, is whips whips Whip it good. Um, all right, so you go. So first. I'll start with this since we're on Rose City Rollers. Yes. Um, so I just I cast on a modified version. Modified. Modified of um, the Rose City Rollers. Because uh, a couple episodes ago, I knit up a sock head slouch with Fox Farts by Amanda Nitz. Fox Farts. And it's funny because I feel like she just... Uh, well, I'm so I, excited for Amanda Nitz. Oh my gosh. I feel like she just dyed up some more Fox Farts. I just she saw did. it um, not too long ago. So this is Fox Farts. Um, I, I absolutely love this yarn. It's probably one of my favorite colorways. And because it's so different than anything I've ever, like, you know, knit with. You know. You know? Um, and it's. July. No. <laughs> I saw that meme. That was so you're so stupid. So um, this is Fox Farts on her seventy five twenty five. But I swear there's something else in it because it's the softest yarn. Did you feel how soft this is? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because you lying. <laughs> I had fifty one grams left over oh. after my sock head slouch. There's Amanda um, dash knits dot com and Amanda um, dot knits on on uh, Insta. And anyway, so I don't have any more, didn't have any more socks left on the needle. So I just cast these on yesterday. Um, So I don't have much, but I think they're going to go, it's going to go really well um, together. So this is how, and I'm curious to see how it's going to like stripe up or knit up. Um, I I don't even know. I literally, I just did the heel I started the heel yesterday and uh, last night during our movie, and I just finished it this morning. You can't really see much of it, but I'm very, I'm very, I, I like the color combination. Yeah, I, I think, think the blue is going to complement the contrast. The, the, yeah, the heel blue is going to complement mm-hmm. the blue in the. Now I box wanted box. to do. I didn't want to do a contrasting heel. I kind of wanted just to do like one 
you know, just all with the fox farts. But I weighed my my previous version of uh, Rose City Rollers that I did with Lolo Did It, and it used 66 or 67 grams, and I only had the 50 one one left over. That's a lot of. But granted, grams. I'm doing a instead of the heel flap and gusset that the pattern calls for. Um, I'm doing a fish lips kiss because that's obviously now my new favorite heel ever. And um, so I'm not quite sure like how much more or less yarn it uses. Hmm. Probably be a good experiment. I would. F- I feel like a heel flap and gusset would use more though because um, you're going back and forth a lot. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so I'm really excited about this. So this is the uh, modified version. It's, it's really just a vanilla sock with a rolled cuff cuff so um, i did an inch and a half i did an inch and a half of the roll nice yeah and, and what I color think... is your contrast what um oh yeah so using? thanks so this is nitpick stroll fingering and it's right on the front under the, uh-huh. the name sapphire heather oh yeah yeah so it's like a nice blue yeah it's a very very pretty blue i don't know that the blue is showing up really well on the camera it's no no it's it's that def- looks almost denim yeah, but, but it's, it's not. It's very jewel. It's like a royal blue almost. Yeah, it's it's a very pretty um, blue. Yeah, and I actually pulled out my um, my sock head slouch because it was all already knit up yeah. um, to try to choose a, a contrasting color, and I had a couple of different options, and this one actually will pick up and go really well. So once it's done, I'm I'm very excited to see how it how it looks. But mm. I love I love her yarn, really. I know I can't wait. Her colorways are amazing. I'm gonna get. Once I can make my purchase, oh, and this, uh-huh. then I'm going to work with hers on another shawl. What do you have left of hers? So I am waiting. She's dying up. Next oh, time she dies yeah. up some either avocado toast or avocado, avocado spread. Yeah. I'm going to purchase that. I think I need two more skeins, and I'm going to use that with the skein that we already have. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to do dotted rays. Oh, yeah. Either do- it's either dotted rays or radiate shawl. Well, whichever one you don't do, I will do. Um, so one of those, but yeah. that's that's the plan for that. Um, this is living so in my um, knit for brains sock sack, Harry Potter, and I have. I know we talked about the size of these, but I have the two skeins of yarn plus the projects in here. Yeah. So. And you also forgot to mention that you're room. doing those on eight inch circulars ah. instead of nine on some Addy. Eight inch circulars, Addy, sock rockets. No, I don't know if they're called sock rockets. But they're eight inch circular needle. Eight inch circular needles. They're eight inch circular needles. Which was bizarro. I'm totally a fan of knitting in the round and I'm very surprised. So Scott, mute that and don't listen to that part. And so I have to say though, I prefer the Please tell me. I prefer the needle. The Addy. Yes, Addy needles are my preference because they're so small. And I could give two sh- I don't care about the <laughs> cords. When you're knitting something in the round exactly. that small, because like who cares right. if it holds its shape or not? Um, right. So I think I prefer the eight-inch circular Addies to the nine-inch circular Shaogus. Uh, and I'm doing I'm actually using oh this one they didn't have two point two five so no. I'm doing a two point five. I ordered two point two five and they sent us a two point five. But I'm using it. But I'm, so I'm ve- and I'm doing sixty-eight stitches. Um, oh, I would so, have gone down by two. I would have got. I would have I know, 64. I, but but it's good. So, we'll see. You know what we should start doing because we're really bad at this is we should start project pages. Absolutely. So we know going forward. I go through phases fits. with my project pages. I've gone through a is that big your stomach. Yeah, I'm starving. You heard that? Oh my god! I didn't hear that. I hope we that just Mike ate didn't some pick that up. Um, I've gone Although through one phase of much. not creating project pages. I have some, but I've done. You've been in one phase, phase. of not creating yeah. project pages. Good. Really so good. all right. Cool. Here we go. I'm going to stick oh, with the sock Oh, you have your theme. sock sack, sock sack. Yes, I have my Nipper Brain sock sack as well. This I've cast on this week. Oh, my God. I love this. Did I leave it downstairs? I did. What is it? This is my... Um, I'm doing a vanilla sock. Mm. These are on my 2.5 Chagos, 32 inch. I'm doing van- vanilla like I just said. <laughs> <laughs> this is with Nomadic Yarns and the colorway Neville. It's really pretty. The camera's washing it out a little bit. It is. I, I don't think those are fully true to color. Uh, it, maybe that is. Actually, maybe. Yeah. Pull it back just yeah. a little. Maybe. That's more like yeah. it. 
it's, it's actually like funny. Silvery. When I wound these both up or mm-hmm. kicked these both up, I thought that ours were very similar. Your yeah. Trelaw- Trelawney and this. Oh, they couldn't um, be more different. No, actually. they're really, really different. So I've done a 15 inch cut. Or 15 yeah, they're inch. very different. Yeah. I don't know what. I think maybe it was just the Well, brown. in this game, too. I've done a 15 row cuff. One by one rib, which I don't know why I did that. I, it looks really good, though. And I do a stretchy cast on. I do... I forget the name of it. I did. It's Andrea Mowry's. You do? Yeah. I do a stretchy one. How do you do that? Can you show me? I can. I think it's just maybe called a stretchy cast on. Oh. Um, but yeah. So I haven't made much progress. Um, mm. um, I mean, one full repeat. Yeah. Because I have the green going now. So that is, yeah, I love it. I haven't. I love it too. I mean, we've never worked with nomadic yarns. No. So this is super excited. This, and I, we um, will be working with them again. We sure will. And the only pair of self-striping socks I've done was from. I've done a Knit Picks one. I did Whale Song. Whale Song from Knit Picks. Yeah. We have a. We still have a. We have a, a whole box of. Yeah, we have a. We have. We have a couple picks. skeins of some of theirs. Um, because remember, I had to buy the second one. I didn't know I was going to need two fifty grams right. to make the socks. And then we ended up buying like seven more skeins. No, dramatic. But yeah, I I love the way that the colors look. So I'm excited to work on this. This is really good. Another good just you know TV knit or when I'm working, I can knit on mm-hmm. this a little bit because I don't have to count. Hey Laura. Hey Laura, how are you? How are you? I'm glad that you enjoyed wonder, your vacation. Are, yeah. Oh, yeah. She had a, a trip to Vegas. Vegas. If you're watching this, if you still watch this, um, are you, any 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 uh, plans to do a little sock sack with like a, a small little pocket on the outside? She Did has she do done one them before. She the oh the denim like, the, the denim jeans ones, with I like the pocket. Oh yeah, I'll have to do. That. I'll have to look at that. Yes. Because I feel like a little pocket on the outside where you can put your like your. I like to keep my um, yarn band and maybe even like a small little measuring tape or something in there. Um, and I oh, I I have picked out a color for the heel. I'm gonna do. I'm using what the yarn that we got from whatnot from Kathy from yeah, whatnot. I'm gonna minis. use one of her minis because we've They're up there obviously somewhere. realized that it's um, Harry, Harry Potter, Potter colorways. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so when we, we got it, did we talk about this? We I might believe have. so last, okay. last week. So I won't mention it. Um, so that is my first whip, and you have another whip? I have two other whips. Oh, you have two I other have three whips. whips. I only have one other whip. I have three whips. Um, I'll do this one. This is living in the uh, Naughty Knitting Sacks. And just a reminder, we have a coupon code, 15% off. Prickly prickle pan- pants. Prickle pants. Prickle pants. 15. 15. You guys, <laughs> so inappropriate. Hi, Joe kids. Um, I so I love this bag. It's huge. There's Where, so much room in here. Where's the other one? The other one. Well, not the prickle pants. <laughs> one. The remember the the one that Your I was going to use bag? as a sweater bag. I can't find well, it. Well, where did you put it? I I didn't take it out of this room. Well, it's in this room somewhere. I was looking for it the other day. Well, where did the, the rest of her bags go? Oh, oh maybe. they might be in the they might be in the bin, in the spare room, in the spat room, spat room, in the spat Where, room. I always forget. Where's that from? The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Oh yeah, right, right. No, I don't, I don't know. know. All right, so this is um, this is my sweater, my flax, by Tin Can Knits. And I feel like I've made... I love the red. I do too. It, it, I feel like it's even deeper, a deeper red. Than it um, shows. Yeah. It yeah. shows a little more, it's a little bit brighter on here. Yeah. But I do feel that it's a much deeper... I, I really love this. And I think this will be really nice. Somebody had mentioned like this would be a great like Christmas sweater. It's going to be a beautiful fall sweater. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be so good. I feel like I'm going to get a lot of use out of this. And I actually like the boat neck. Is that what's called a boat neck? I believe it's called a boat neck. There's not much, you know. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm really gonna like that. But you can see like the sleeve detail yep. um, here. That's gonna some, go some all the way down. Ribbing. I did separate from my sleeves. I believe. Oh, here's where I was last time. So I've made some progress. 
You've made a lot of progress on that. Yeah. You were up here, and you knit right all there. the way down yep. here. Yep, so I knit all of that. Yeah. It's a little bit wrinkled because I haven't taken it out in a little while. I did knit on it yesterday. Um, what happened here? This is where... Ugh. Oh, yeah. I got to pick that out. No, you know what I think we you may be able to do is do overstitching there uh -huh. just to correct it. Okay. So we'll have to look into that. I've never done overstitching, but mm -hmm. I know I've heard it mentioned on the Knit Girls when they've so made an error or something or okay. they don't like the way something looks. They've done All some right. overstitching, so we'll look into doing that so, there. Yeah. Anyway, so this has been this has been really great. This is I'm I'm on my stockinette. Yeah. Um so easy I'm just peasy from easy here. peasy lemon squeezy. This is uh with the uh nitpick swish and the worsted in garnet heather. I don't know. Why is it not focusing? There we there are. We are. It's it, it really honest to God is such it's such a soft bouncy smooth yarn yes it is it's 100 percent nice. fine superwash merino um and it's great it's so good i actually have all of my skeins in here yeah that's a great size it's bag. a great a size bag. bag i mean i don't want to keep or a large shawl like bag the, the dinglings oh no we're not in focus 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 there we go there we are so there it's a are. it's a great size bag i have the pattern in here i have all of my skeins of yarn um and I have the project, so if you're looking, I don't know if she has any sweater bags right now um, or what her shop, what she has in her shop because I haven't checked it out, but it will be down, it will be down below uh, for Naughty Knitting Sacks. So that's, that's my, um, that's my whip and that's also, that's also, um, I wanted to do it for, let's hear it for the boys. Yes. My first, my first sweater Correct. for myself. My first sweater ever. So I'm really excited about it. I think I'll, I'll be able to get that done pretty quick because now it's like it's literally flying off the needles. I'm using Addy's 5mm, um, US 8. US 8, 5mm. 5mm. Yep. And right now I have it on a 32-inch cord. Fantastic. Yeah. And I did try it on. Yep. I made a boo-boo when I was calculating my size. I didn't give myself any negative ease. So it's a it's a fitted sweater right now, um, it, but it will block out. It will. I'm telling myself it will block out. It um, will. But the when I put it grew. on, like the arms, the armholes are in the right spot. Everything, yep. you know, everything should be okay. Yeah, when I blocked mine, mine grew quite a bit. I yeah. throw mine in the dryer to shrink it back down to a normal size. So I think you'll be okay with it. Thank you. I think I will do too. I have some faith. You gotta have faith, faith, faith. You're full of music today. Yeah. Do you have any more? I do have another whip. This is a brand new cast on. Let's see it. This is living in my... Do I know about this cast on? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Been, duh, yeah, I did. For a week. That's true. This is in my Fat Wool Co. Oh, bag. It's such a good bag. The quality of this bag, I can't get over. And our neighbors have some echinacea plants growing in their front yard. We just walked past them today when we took the I know. So can, the dog. Can, do they keep coming back? Does echinacea keep coming back? It do, I'm pretty sure that it's a Can you, like, transplant it? Can you, can Wait. you transplant it? Because they're huge. They're, yeah. like, this tall. We they're should do them in the front. Gorgeous. Oh, I was thinking maybe we take one. No, that's rude. <laughs> so this is a new shawl. I'm working on these. This is for. Let's hear it for the boys. Well, no. yeah. Well, let's. let's I mean, we're double let's dipping. The, we're double dipping it, and obviously we can't dip in our own pot. In our own pool. Um, Don't swim in our own pool. So, but this is to go. Um, I'd like to take part in the Grocer Girls Knit Along. They're doing a Stephen West along. Mm -hmm. So I would like to um, partake, and I am going to be knitting the Vertices Unite. I don't know what I'm. Th this is not that. I don't know. Well, what when I'm you leave all of your yarn bands okay. all over the dining room table, hi, Judgy McJudge a lot. Scattered all about. Scatter McScat a lot. Well, that's you. <laughs> so I'm doing all right. Ooh, the night. inside of that bag is pretty. Mind your business, Judgy McJudge a lot. Stay over there on your side. Well, we're in a fight now. Yep. <laughs> the line has been drawn. So I love this. It's I am gorgeous. currently working on the first section. Guys, what am <laughs> I doing? I'm doing the large. The large is eight and a half feet long by two feet wide. I 
Almost two three, feet yeah, wide. Twenty eight inches. Is it twenty eight? I thought you said it was like twenty eight. It's re- it's a blanket. I'm knitting a blanket. That's a shawl. Well, it's a Stephen West shawl, so yeah. So this is section one, colors A and B. Color A is Lilo did it, the same color we just saw, Ray socks. Yeah. Right. So this was. I don't know that I have the tag. I think this is called words. Oh, I didn't. I didn't tell you. So yes. it's words. Yes. This is words. Yep. Yep. My second color, color B, is from Barnyard Knits. This is. Um, I love this color. Barnyard Knits. This is called Country Cupboard. Cupboard. Yeah. Cupboard. Why did I say like Country Cupboard. This is in. Okay. I didn't know if there was a base name. Um, so this is the 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, 463 yards, 100 grams. They don't so have here the is thing? the colorway. This is so this is a tr- interesting one because it reads beige, but it can read gray as well. But there's some browns oh, and you can oranges look at the, the, and yeah, blacks. you can see all the colors. Right? There's a ton of colors. There's a ton in of here. color in there. You can actually see um There's some like yellow in there too. Yeah, there's yellow and yeah. orange. You can see a lot of them. Oh yeah. Here. That's really pretty. It's such a pretty color. It is. The two of them together I love what it's knitting, doing. They're I... knitting up so different from what I had envisioned. Wait, which one's I think the, right the side? other this side, side that side is the right side. Right. Knitting up so different from what I had expected or anticipated. Like, I couldn't be happier with this me neither. right now. It's gorgeous, um, I said to Ray the other day, like, this reminds me of, like, a, a war-torn flag right now. Yeah. Like, the, you know, like, just the the rust. It the, does. The it looks rusted. It, it and... looks rusted and burnt. And I love this. This, now, the intention of this shawl, I'm changing one color in it, which is on its way. But I want this to be very autumnal it's Mm -hmm. going to be um grays and reds and blacks and oranges so in what got me to that point um i was struggling with putting colors together i was going to use this gray with the greens and yellows and peach in here but i'm taking this one away now this was northbound i think that's a good choice to take that so i'm going to take this one away yeah what's changed my mind is i was going through the yarn and i found good old trusty Rusted wagon wheel. Yeah. So I will be using this as color, one color. It's a five color shawl, so this will be one. Color number four is also from Lolo Did It. That's Quotable gorgeous. Dumbledore. This one reminds me of wow. A cigar. I didn't knit in that one yet. It reminds me of like bourbon. It reminds me of. Oh, I don't I know this. There. This color I love. It's like coffee. That's like right there. Yeah. Yeah, it's such. Um, this one should be, I think, if I remember correct, this I is. Just pull the muscle. Earwax. So this is earwax. So we got these four. Can you hold those two for sure me? Sure, I can. Thank you. So we have these four so far. And then. You're absolutely right about the fall. And right. And then I can't wait to see the next one that you have coming. So the new color coming, it's in the mail, is coming from. Um, Andrea from the Cat Lady, her yeah. new yarn dyeing business. I believe it's called either Pumpkin Coffee or Pumpkin Latte. So it's a really nice orange. I think it's Pumpkin Latte. And I fell in love with it when I saw it. Mm-hmm. She had a shop update on Saturday, Saturday. at 5 p.m. I was on there like, so quickly. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Right. It's like, oh, are, is there anything else you're going to? I'm like, I have no idea. I just had to buy it. I know. I he was like, I got it. Bump. I was like, well, what is there something else you want to get? He's like, I don't care. I'm no, getting it. I, just I don't want that. somebody. I don't want anybody I else s- to snatch it up. I've seen it. I knew that it was coming and I wanted it. And so I'm going to throw that in here. It's going to actually be paired. If I remember correctly, I think it's being paired with this. Oh, and Allie from Savvy Skeins is actually uh, just dyed up some <sighs> new rusted wagon wheel as well as a new colorway, which I love. It's called Lucky Penny. Lucky Penny. So, beautiful it's yeah, like a, um, i might actually i might have to make a it's a, it looks like a patina penny it really so, does it's, it's got really but it's beautiful. got some like blues in it too it's really yeah it's, it's really, really pretty really pretty, really, um, really pretty. so you know we love savvy skeins this is one of my favorite yeah. colorways ever barnyard knits i love this yarn super super soft um, it's really fun too to work with these different textures because they they're all fingering but they lolo did it has their bases completely are different, different feels. these two have completely different feels mm-hmm. um i don't think lolo did it is the softest 
I of think, the sock yarns that I've ever felt. I think it will really? be when you wash it. I didn't wash these. Right. Yet. Yeah. I think the washing helps a ton. Yeah. Um, so this one is a, I'm not even halfway done with this section and this is section one. So you're not halfway done with that. You said no, I'm going to show you guys how big this is. Um, oh yeah. The picture. Uh, so I made the decision the other day. I had, there's two versions of this. Well, there's three really. There's a baby blanket version, which somebody had shown in the, yeah, that's um, true. Edit. And then there. Well, is that's a, not his like direct pattern. That's no, his modification, right? No, I think it's his. Oh, really? I, I could be wrong, but um, so this is. Get out of I love this. So this might be a little bit bright, but here's light. Like bright, this gives you an bright. idea of what the size huge. of this is going to yeah. be, right? Yeah. And I'm working, I believe, on this huge yellow section that's going around his. Sh one shoulder over the other. Right. But at least that's the, going to be the largest section. So everything else should be a little bit more manageable, maybe? Yeah. So we, we were discussing it the other day because I had reached the point where I could start, where I had reached the point where I could make the decision of either staying with the small or going with the large. Once I passed that point, there was no going back. Yeah. It was large. So I kind of said, you know what the hell with it? If I'm going to do yeah. this... I'm going to go all in. Absolutely. And I'm going to do the large. So do we it. are doing a large. Totes bagots. An eight and a half foot long <gasps> shawl. And yeah. Yeah. So that that's what we're doing. So my goal with this, hopefully, because uh, I do. I love it. I've been knitting on it I love so it much too. that my arm hurts. It seems like it's a lot to manage because you have a lot of different colors. Um, but you're never working with more than two colors yeah. at a time, which is great. So it's five colors. You have three sections of solid. Yes. Or three sections with your with you working with one color, uh -huh. three sections of you working with two colors. Um, so, oh, that's actually a lot warmer than you would think. You would think. Um, so yeah, I, it's just a really really simple knit right now. I don't know about the rest of the pattern. I'm enjoying it. It's definitely a TV knit. The edging on it is really pretty, right now. Even though I'm going to use it to pick up stitches, I think, but. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for this one. It would be... This is going to be like my fifth Stephen West shawl, I think. I mean, they're, the patterns are very well written. Um, but you know what the the best thing about his shawls are, too, is that once you get past the color. what he shows you yes. as, like, his choices, you really... You know, it's, it's really very adaptable. Um, Correct. And, you know, and... You can make it your own, and you can completely change the entire look and feel of the pattern. I with think color. with, with the the colors colors you choose, that you choose. You know, yeah. I think people sometimes, and it's very difficult when you're looking at a pattern to see past other people's color choices. Same thing, like when you're buying a house. Yeah, you know, like walking into a room, the paint and, on the walls. Yeah. You know, it's Absolutely. it's hard to look past that. Um, but once you do, like the things that you can that you can come up with, like can make it look like a completely different yeah garment. And um, so I think that his, you know, his patterns are very adaptable to correct. every anybody's tastes. Yes, and um, so it is a paid for pattern. We bought mm -hmm. the ebook. It came with three shawls yeah. in it. So there's another one in there that I thought that I would be interested in knitting. Yeah, which one was that? I totally forget. Totally. And I then agree. it I is knit well. on a three millimeter or a US four. Excellent. Wow, I still have another whip to show too. You sure do. Wow. So, are you done with your whip? I am. I am. I. I was intending to have a third whip but i am struggling with a cast on for a sweater i'm mm -hmm. struggling with a tuber tubular cast on uh so that's my goal for the weekend is to figure that out and get a sweater cast on yeah i have another um project but oh, i, crap. I couldn't I have, a, have four i can't have four whips right now i'm gonna have like a fourth I'm gonna, project i'm yeah. gonna get that started this weekend I, too. I want to because it's this and we'll talk about it yeah so i brought out my hmm my man bag. It's a beauty. It's a beaut. It's a beaut. But it's full. Look how big. Look how full. This is a big project. This is crochet. Um, what? The, what? You crochet? I crochet. I'm going to crochet too. I did a little crochet in. Um, let me show you the... Oh, one week till our tattoos. Let let me show you... Oh, that's pretty. Can... I know I got distracted. Can we go... But look what... Look what... Um, Matt. Matt just made. Okay. Uh, Matt from ma uh, Maker's, Maker's Knitting. Knitting. Hope you all got your your patterns. 
Are you going to Ravelry to yes, look up please. the pattern? Yes, please. Show me where. So go to Safari. Oh, yeah. But I, I usually keep a thing. Open up your internet browser. Shush. Type in www.ravelry. I thought I had this all, like, saved up. So um, I'll show you what I've got going on. I was going to print everything off, but um, I didn't. Did not. We actually need some more printer. We need ink because, in our printer. Because, you know, COVID and being in lockdown, yeah. we don't go out. So maybe, I, maybe I'll just order from HP directly. So I'm just going to... Get, like, an extra large one. Yeah. So for those of you who are having some issues and stuff with Ravelry, I'm just going to show you the picture. Um, what is the name of this? So this is Crochet Perfect Pocket Shawl. Yes. Um, and this is by Sonia Hood. Sanja? Sonia Hood? Sonia? Sonia. Yeah. yeah. So um, super cool. This is for my mother. So you can see it's got like the, the pockets. Um, my mom is a shawl wearer, apparently, in her house. Um, and a friend of hers also wanted a, wanted one as well. Yes. Um, so my mom likes pink. She chose, she picked out the yarn color. I got a lot of yarn. This is, uh, Lion Brand Retweed. It's recycled tweed. Which is cool. It's I, really I like cool. Idea, yeah, I wanted to get, kind of give this a try. This is called Dawn Pink. Um, there's all the, the information. There you go. Dawn Pink. Oh, I wouldn't even notice if they had different lot numbers. It doesn't really matter, probably, no. probably no, with this kind that. of yarn, right? Um, so this is worsted weight. Is it or is it Aaron weight? I thought we bought Aaron weight. It says four. I, I, it, yeah, it's, I don't know. 100 grams, 202 yards. Hmm. So this is a 40% wool, 40% polyester, and 20% acrylic. It says it says medium four. So I don't know that in that measurement, though medium four, that there is a one for Aaron, because I think the next up is chunky. Maybe. Like five. Okay. So it's probably a worse. So it could be. Aaron so weight. that would kind of make sense a little bit because it's it's uh quite airy. So this is um this is how it's crocheting up. It's like the holes are huge. Yeah. You know, so like I'm using a nine millimeter crochet hook. I'm not quite sure what letter that is in US MNN, terms. I think MN, depending. MN. Yeah. Um But I think, you know, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty large. Yeah. Um can you hold this? Oh, up? sorry. Yeah, it's it's oh. gonna be yeah it's it's gonna be huge, actually. Um, gonna be May. It's gonna be May. Oh, this careful. This is you don't want to pull it out. I didn't. I put the stitch marker in it. Oh, the stitch marker's not there. <gasps> what? Yeah. Oh no. Where the hell hell did it go? Um, I don't oh, know. Oh shite. Maybe it's in your bag. Maybe just. Come but how would it have? You think it would have popped out? Possibly. It's really weird. So is this a free pattern? No, this is a paid for pattern. Oh yeah, did not know, I yeah. forgot. So I'm just gonna um, carry on. Carry on. Um, so I'm gonna be knitting gonna the same thing. This. So I'm gonna be doing it for Ray's mother. So the funny thing is about this pattern and the, us making oh, here this it is. is that Ray's mother sent us a picture like yeah. a couple months ago. It was like, can you make this? Right. Can you knit this? And then we looked at it, we were like, ah, uh, that's crocheted. And then we're like, do you have a pattern? She's like, no. So we're like, uh, no, we couldn't just make one up on our own. But then I was watching on um, Twitch. I was watching one of the people, um, one of my friends on Twitch, Cinebay, or Hey Cinebay. She yeah. was mentioning that she was knitting a sh or crocheting a shawl with pockets. I was like, wait a minute, what's the name of this? Looked it up after she mentioned it. I was like, holy crap, that's it. So right. I'm going to be knitting the same one using um, Lion Brand Heartland. So the pattern was knit, which is 100% acrylic yeah, or crochet. In a, this is going to be like a hunter green color that um, was requested. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make one of those for Maggie. Yeah. So in the the pattern, um, 
calls for heart. That's what she used in the pattern. Yes. Heartland. So we kind of wanted to. And this is um, King's Canyon is the colorway for this. Mm -hmm. So Sorry, I just wanted to. Um... No, you're good. Um, but that. Okay. Race is that. That's so all that's. Our... Those are all. Those Our are the whips. whips. Um, it's nice to to have a crocheted project because it's been a little while. Um, the last thing I did, it's been a more than a fortnight. Last thing you did was Harry Potter. No, the last thing that I did oh. was uh, the shawl that I gave to Reese. Ah, yes, 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 the shawlette. The shawlette with the spun right round. Yeah, with that the spun looked right like round. confetti cake. Which yeah, we've been and eating a it's lot of cute those. because she's ra I'm randomly getting pictures of how she's using the the shawl at she's putting it on her like stuffed animals and herself it's really didn't really she cute. use it to like carry around a baby like i think a, so a, like a the wrap fake, the wrap yeah. yeah very cute um all right so that is knitting the actual knitting we are now going to get into some owl post and breaking the bank breaking that we broke the bank guys yeah we had to go into gringotts and we made it quite the withdrawal the, so in my defense i broke it it's like you break the uh, seal and then all of a sudden you want to get like more and more and more and more and more. But it happened on like a, I think like a Thursday at 1130 at night. Yeah, of course Tarquin freaking out from either thunderstorms or um, fireworks. And I just wasn't thinking. And I, Apple pays a double click and it puts it's in. It's so easy to friggin' do. purchases it and I know. it sends it to you. You don't even have to enter your address. It's dangerous. You don't even know, have to know who you are. Yeah. You need to know no information. You just double click and it send. Mm -hmm. so so um that's so if you are not interested in our acquisitions and we do have a uh, podcast gift as yeah. well and then we have some art just our podcasts and our tv and books to talk yeah. about so if you're not interested in that thank you for coming we love you bye and then we'll move on to so we're gonna move on to acquisitions breaking the bank breaking the bank so my first one came this purchase occur happened because of our i love these um you our, know partly our, because of our yeah what the hell let's hear it for the boys yeah Ooh. um so i was online and i follow this dyer and he had made a post and i was like went to a site and i bought four skeins of yarn mm -hmm. so this is and the really cool thing is that i went to the site too and i read the reason that this year and I started their company was because they also found it difficult to find colorways that they wanted to knit with. So I thought that was very this is a fitting. male dyer, male dyer. So that. it was very fitting for the knit along. Yeah, and to support somebody. So this is by Knitting Bro. I bought four skeins of his DK base, and this is a hundred percent superwash merino. So I'm going to do it one by one. Yeah, they all need I love to them, of course. Their so They're the first beautiful. One is called Oliver Twist. This is a beautiful... Oh, look at that. It's like an olive green. Dark green. Yeah, uh, yeah, olive green mm -hmm. all the way. Dark. That's and that's like so true to color right there, too. This is... It's really, really pretty. Such a pretty, yeah. pretty color. So again, 100% superwash. You got 100 grams for approximately 231 yards. I love this one. Me, too. Next one. And this is Knit in Bro. Knit in Bro. Here's his... Uh, he's right in Pennsylvania, so he's like right down the street. Not yeah, really. four hours. Four hours. Away. Oh! Can you... Well, he probably doesn't watch this, so never mind. What? I was going to ask if he can validate that the fireworks are um, not illegal in Pennsylvania. Next up, we have Golden Hour, which is a nice, dark, like, mustardy yellow. I love, love, I love it too. this. Look at these together. I know. Oh, I love it. Right. Oh my God, look at them together. Next up is Fly mm. Away. So yes. this is a gray with some speckles. Mm -hmm. I feel like the speckles are the speckles of all three colors that we've purchased. So I feel mm -hmm. like there's some... Um, Almost the looks green. golden, like golden flecks in there. Right. Yeah. And then lastly, this one is Emerald Dreams. This one is gorgeous. This is This actually is not showing up no, it is. Well, I just think this is such a this great... This is showing up a little bit more gray. Jewel tone to this? Shush. Shush. Um, I love this one. So Me too. I did think that 
they could all be used together. Absolutely. Or they could. in this set. set. Mm -hmm. These two and these two together. Yeah. Um, I don't know for what, but, but I love just, these. They're beautiful. Um, the shipping was really, really quick too. And yeah, I know he was going to have a shop update, but I think he postponed it maybe by a week or so. I don't Did remember. Okay. I just, I remember just seeing something briefly on Instagram. So guys definitely go check out knitting bro. He has a lot knit of great in. knit in. So knit in bro. We will obviously put the um, knit in bro.com knit in bro. It's on his ball band. Yes. And we will be um, sharing a link to his shop in the show notes. But so that was my first, um, it's, it was a great purchase. purchase. Great job. And we needed some more DK. Cause yes, we, we don't have, have a lot you know, of DK. And I, I just love DK. I yeah. think DK is such a verse. Like DK and fingering are very mm -hmm. versatile weights. So of here's my fingering cube that are mine. Where's mine? Over there. Yeah. You have a lot more than I do. Over there. This is the But that's community. all I have. That's the community that's the, cube. Yeah, the community one is behind Kevin's head. And then that is... I have no idea what that is. That's you. That's um your sweater, my sweater, and oh yeah, our, yeah, yeah. Your sweater, my sweater. Yeah. And this is all, and then over here is all like worsted. It picks worsted. Yeah. So we've got a lot of worsted. We do. We do. Um, not a lot of DK. But not DK a lot of DK is. And fingering. We need to work on our. There. That's the DK. Building up our collection. I believe. Um, yeah. All right. So. Okay. You have yours. Do you want me to show it now? Yeah. Okay. I could not. I can't even be this. happier. I'm, I'm going to probably buy some for With my purchase. So I wanted to uh, also join in the West along. And then I also wanted to cast on like a triple threat type of thing for the let's hear it for the boys. So I chose my pattern first. Smart. And thank you. And I chose uh, another Stephen West pattern, which he's kind of like, you know, oh my goodness gracious. Speaking of, Stephen West is doing, um, I know I mentioned to you, but if you guys didn't see, he's doing a shawl, like, lecture. It's 20 euros, I believe, next really? Sunday. Oh yeah, you were saying that he was doing the, like, the lecture. Yeah. Talking about like shawl construction, how mm -hmm. he's come up, um, you know, ways that he's constructed his shawls and things like that. So, I thought about possibly going, but no, I'm not. Um, so okay, so this is uh, Barndom by Stephen West. Let's see if I can find some. Oh, this is so. This is the three color one. Oh yeah. So I was thinking, what if I use the third? the second set of pumpkin spice that you're getting. Uh, Mayhaps. I don't know. So this is Barndom by Stephen West. Look how good he looks there, huh? That's like baby Stephen West. Yeah, baby Stephen. Um, so there really are two versions shirt. for this one as well. I love this whole... I would love that what, shirt. ...what he's doing here. So this is in two sizes. So you can do a two-color version or a three-color version. I saw... This is the two-color version. It's kind of blurry. But that's the two-color version, so I was like, oh, that's really cool. And then I saw the three-color version, and now I'm kind of on the fence. Um, but anyway, so that's Barndom. And I went to Leading Men Fiber oh, Arts. Guys. Let's talk about this. And I chose some yarn. And I was going to go with their um, showstopper base, which is their... 7520. 75, yeah. 25. 25 so this is fingering it's a fingering weight um shawl but they were out um of the colors that i wanted and i ended up going with their show stealer base and i can't even mm -hmm. so i chose i posted these on instagram um this is color number one which is don't fear the reaper i believe which is really really pretty and he's knitting he just a finished sweater. i believe he just he's, finished his sweater oh did he yeah he's yeah his uh so basic by maxim yeah um this is a little bit lighter than. It's show. It's coming across. It's coming lighter. across a little bit. Our lighter. lighting's really different this week. We have a new yeah. webcam, and it's our lighting. Yeah, is it's weird. different. I know. Um, but it's still. I mean, that's that's this a is little truer. This is, this is true yeah. in color. Yeah. 
It's so such a is, pretty yeah. tonal gray. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Don't Fear the Reaper on their Show Stealer base, which is 80% Superwash Merino, 10% Cashmere, 10% Nylon. It's 100% it's super amazing. Soft. Uh, it's 435 yards for 100 grams. It's it's light. It's squishy. Yeah. It's so soft. And I am pairing this with Dirty Truce. So everybody loves a good chartreuse. Everybody loves a good chartreuse, yo. Um. So these two together, I think, I think they're they. I think they look so good together. They do. And if you want to do a three color one, I would throw in like a. Oh my god, this could be a pillow. That's so soft. Yeah, maybe I'll. Maybe we'll make a. Maybe we'll buy some more yarn. Okay. And I'll get yarn for another pure drink. from leading men. So you know. Or for an, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Go ahead. All right. Um, I am, I am blown away, honestly, by the that, quality of the yarn. Yeah, um, that's amazing. I, I amazing will be one hundred percent honest with you. Um, you know, leading men fiber arts. They donated to the podcast for our let's hear it for the boys. And that was our first time ever touching their yarn, um, but buying, honestly, like purchasing from them and having their yarn here. It's it really that, is yeah the, that's the a quality beautiful it's beautiful it's gorgeous um, I love the colors the saturations that they you know were able to get and um, I'm very excited to cast this on yeah so I now I just need to make a decision whether I do the two or the three color shawl um, you know I what think I think it'll do? be just fine with the two to be honest it will it will be but what I would do is I would go on to Ravelry go to the project pages look at other people's yeah. three color shawls see see what um, they did. see if you like the look of it and mm -hmm. then if you'd like it we can look you know look to see another yeah. color um I was like i almost feel like you need a, a lighter a either like you're gonna need kind of in the same uh -huh. makeup of his where he has two kind of light colors yeah that are so, striping like up there yeah so yeah. it yeah to get something to stripe because you would have to get something to stripe with both oh yeah true well this doesn't no this that's right doesn't... That's striped as yeah, well. Yeah, it's, stri oh, it's a striped I yellow see. and white, and it looks like it's probably full. So I would maybe stripe the green. Right, you would do again I, with something else. I see. All right, well I'll think about and it. Based on that third section, it looks like I you're do striping like the three colors every eight rows mm -hmm. probably. But this is with the two, and this looks good. It's still it's regardless. It's a great. It's a. It's That's a, a really great colorway. It's whatever a great, that one is. Yeah, it's I love great. the spec. I don't know. I I love it. I'm very excited about it. I'm gonna um, look at I'm super excited about. This was my breaking the bank purchase, and very affordable for MCN yeah, uh, base. Yes, just absolutely. saying. So yeah. we said out. the same thing. We were talking about that yesterday. That we thought um, his MCN base and Trilogy yarns MCN base are very affordable MCN bases. Yeah. Um, so my next purchase is this my is, first so purchase this. by this yarn dyer. I made a self, or I purchased another self striping yarn from Desert Vista Dye Works. The colorway, and I'm a guys. I'm a sucker for a colorway named Names. after I know you uh, are. characters, a book, or a movie, or a yeah. video game that I love. Yeah, this is Dune, so it is based on Dune the movie, and the book. I love. I've read the book. I've watched both movies. The one from the '80s with uh, what's his Kyle McLaughlin, I believe, and then my personal favorite is the one made for TV for sci-fi. Yeah. Uh, I could watch it all the time. I love it. The colors remind me of like how got Harkonnen, everything in there. The the sand, um, the eyes of the the I can't think of their name. Fremen. I love love this the reds and the blues. I can't yeah, wait she to hit see it out this. Of the park. This is ridiculous. Like yeah. I'm so so happy with this me purchase. Too. It's so incredibly happy with this. Yeah. Well, when we um, purchase some more, there's a colorway that she has that I want to get. It's like a nurse. nurse's... Yeah, it's like the nurse one. Heroes or something like that. It looks really cool. So this is the self-striping 75, 25, 462 yarns, sock weight. I can't wait to kick this I'm very jealous. I'm looks. very excited to see how it, how it knits up for you. I would love to find a Buffy colorway. Um, Star Wars, which I believe she does Star Wars. I don't remember. It's really? either her or, but only on May 4th. Oh, it's May the 4th either... with you. Oh, because I think didn't... Um, uh, Lisa didn't... did. 
from 72 Stitches. Yeah, Lisa. Right? And I believe um, Amy from Happy Little Yarn yeah. did. We really enjoy watching Lisa, so if you guys haven't checked, yeah, check, check out, Lisa um, out. 72 Stitches on YouTube. No. No. That's 72 oh, Stitches. Oh, knit, right? knit, knit all the yarn. Knit all the things. Knit all the things. And then... Knit all the yarn. Oh, you know what else? Going back to Leading Men, look what we got from them. Oh, yeah, we, we ordered some... We got a pair of scissors. Yeah, we ordered some scissors, too. Which are cute. I was like, what kind of notions do we need today? You know what notion I would like to get? What? The pocket scale. I saw oh, Lolo yeah. did it sells them, but mm -hmm. we can also get them on Amazon for like 11 or $13. Hmm. All right, guys. So next up is my June 2020 Downton Abbey colorway. The Downton Abbey Club upstairs and downstairs from Lolo did it. Looks very This one soft. says, Lady Sybil's dress, revealed in season one, is so... Hopefully you all got your June. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. So this is based on um, Lady Sybil's dress, which Lady Sybil is one of my favorite characters. I have no idea. I love is. her in the show. Mm -hmm. I actually want to read, like, the Guernsey movie on Netflix. It's like Guernsey potato leek soup, blah, 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 blah. I hat. love a good potato Club. leek soup, actually. Um, With butter and stuff. It's I need like to rewatch it. Delicious. I started watching it, and then I don't really remember what happened in it. But there was a hat in it that I want to knit. Mm. So I want to watch it to see the hat to see if I can knit the hat. Okay. But she's in it. Here's the colorway. So if you... I would, I've would, i had this for a couple weeks. Yeah. So we're going to show this off. Look, guys. It's This is very, like, rose colored here. Like, lightly... Not Wait. rose. Light, like, peachish? What color is that? This? Blue. Hold it back up again. This is blue? Yes. That doesn't look blue there to me. <laughs> I love this game. So, we do this game with um, <laughs> Ray's brother, too. So, my si <laughs> my sister-in-law and I, um, we'll do... We'll ask the two of them what colors things are so this is the mini this is called drawing room so it's a nice like white with some brown and black that would be that would be pretty as a this is, or, a full this is actually i'm gonna say this is more actually cream this reminds me of a very nice like cream color mm -hmm. this would be a, a great full skein yeah it would this one is called lady sybil stress is this ripped here? oh no. no that's where it's tied yeah so this is a. Um, both of these are eighty-five percent extra fine superwashed merino and fifteen percent nylon. That's a different base than than our, our other Dumbledore club. one. Look how look at the twist on that. Yeah, it's got this, a high twist. This is beautiful. This has the same speckles that this does. Yeah. In there, the um, these speckles are. I'm gonna call these like tiger eye speckles. This is what a tiger eye stone looks like. Mm -hmm. And then blues, in here you got some reds. Like, there's a little, just like this little red speckle right there. That little red speckle sold you, huh? No, look, there's another one there. Some white. This is beautiful, I think. Find the red speckles. Find the red speckles. Oh, I'm almost done with my cafe. So this would be a really, I think this is going to be um, a one skeiner. A one skein in a mini shawl. That somebody had mentioned yeah, from who, a uh, Spash Tree. A Spash Go. Spastrika. Yeah, so that is, I think that's all my act breaking the banks. Maybe the break in the bank wasn't as bad as I thought it was. No. No. Um, really, See, I did. thought that we had more break in the banks. No, because we, we, well, we both bought the yarn. Oh, well, the, so the, the Lions the, brand yep, was purchased. Yeah, because we each so, yeah. ordered five skeins, so that's another ten skeins of yarn. Yeah. So that obviously feels like But a they lot. have a purpose. Hey, baby. They do. What's up? Hi, Dumplin'. What are you doing? You want to come say hi to everybody? Hi, are you waking up? Um, and then we have... Uh, An owl post. Owl posts. So the first owl post, let's talk about this one. Oh, I was like, we have more than one? Yeah. Come so... Here, Come here. This um, was a donation from a viewer um, who would like to remain anonymous, which I can totally appreciate. And we just wanted to... Just wanted to show you, we were talking about David's tea. For, oh my God, he's... Yeah, we were talking about David's Tea, and we got contacted by a viewer, and they offered to send us some, which was so generous. So generous. So and now we have some, and it's way more than I could have imagined. Yeah. Um, and then they were also really kind and sent us some tea to include in shipments that we send out. So we have these little packets, which will be going out to some of you all when you take part in giveaways and stuff. So Yeah, or just really like fun. we do it like a random. Yeah. 
giveaway or you guys can stop by our house anytime. We'll start making a cup. This is forever. They're all forever, forever nuts. nuts. So it's a caffeine free. It smells delicious. It smells almost like granola. Speaking of. Doesn't some, it? Yeah. Can I you just eat this? No. It's tea. Well, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. I had a tea oh, last no. night that somebody had sent. It was um from Stash and it was a uh, Black Forest. It was delicious. Oh, they're in. Are they in their own little tea bags? They are. No, so you have to put them in. Oh, I don't, look at it. No, there's, this is loose leaf. But what is that thing? Oh, maybe not. That no. looks like a chain. You're, you, yeah, you could be correct. Thanks. So we got some tea scent. Um, so one is Country Lemonade. Oh, God, I'm in love We've also this. received Raspberry Cream Pie. Which sounds delicious. And then Chocolate Macaroon. Which I might actually have a cup of this tonight. I think I'm going to make some tonight, too. Um, cherry Berry Punch. Mm. Mm. And Oh, I might do that. Me, too. Vanilla Cappuccino. Lovely. I love the packaging as well. Yeah. So, because we're from the States, I, I, and there, I, I don't know if it matters. No, there is the AT here. I don't know how to... We don't know how to do this. I know how to do this. Okay. So, I'm, we do I'm have... Cultured. We do have some tea filters. Um... That, you know, I'm sure we can, like, fill up. You're cultured? No, and we had the little tea thingamajiggers that we got from Ikea. Oh, yeah, true. Ikea. They're like, no, I'm gonna, we're going to start calling the downstairs the notions. Um, the notions room. Our, our. No, the, of, of Ikea. Because you oh, know, like, you should, like, yes. do your window shopping upstairs and everything is good. And then you go into, like, the notions area and you're like, oh, this little knickknack is good. Baby, this we'll be done idea. soon. I know, it's a little bit later than normal. He we'll wants to have L-U-N-C-H, yeah, which I do too, actually. So that was really nice. So thank you so much. You know who yep. you are. Love it. Thanks. Um, and then last, we wanted to talk about, oh, what we've been watching and reading. No, we have one more. Oh, crud. You're right. Yeah. We do. So Knit, knit Swag. Knit Swag, which is where this is from. Boom. Reached out to us and sent us a, a gift. We got Cup Cozies, which is the American flag with stitch. Oh, I was. Yeah. Stitch markers and knitting needles make up the stripes How and the stars. How fun is this? There's a Adorbs. set of two of them in here. Yep. And then a bandana for the Tarquin. A, ba a bandana collar for Tarquin. Yeah, it's like a full collar. So it goes on like this. Super cute. And it has some yarn stitches on it. I think it's so cool we put it on Tarquin um, Last yesterday. Because mm -hmm. we got this yesterday. Right? Uh... Yeah. I'm pretty sure yesterday. Did it come yesterday? Day yeah. before yesterday? Yep. Maybe yesterday. That was awesome. Oh, yep. Focus. The camera does focus very well. The new so, camera. um, you know, if you hadn't already um, checked her out, she's got a lot of great, yeah, she great does a lot ideas, of a lot of custom stuff, and things that you wouldn't even realize. Like, how fun are these koozies? I know. We're we use these weekend. all the time. Yeah. But, like, to be, like, the American flag, how summery, like, and yeah. perfect that is. I love it. I think it's very, very clever. Tarquin looks very cute in this. We'll try He's, to get a picture yeah. of him in it. Maybe we'll do it today. Yeah. We could get him in it. It it's actually so looks cute. really nice out now. It was very cloudy earlier. I know. It looks But really great great quality, um, great quality stuff. Uh, so, you know, check her out. And uh, we, yeah. oh, that's part of our giveaway, too. We have the um, the graph paper. Oh, we the do. The knitting graph yes, paper. Yes, we do. We do. We have a lot of stuff to show next time. Yeah. Um, and then, so now let's do some New To Us podcasts. Yeah, so there's, we've, there's a few new to us podcasts. There's three new to us podcasts. That are all great. Um, we've watched our normals, Grocery Girls, um, yeah, they Sweet Tea No Shade, yep. um, Urban Yarn with Gary, mm -hmm. and then Covert Knits. Covert Knits with Abigail. Yep. Who's, um, she did just a really finished, great knit along. She did a great knit along. And I'm so, I feel like we were not prepared for, um, for Pride and stuff no. this year. You we, know, we really didn't do any much any. of anything at all. It would have been um, great to take part in that. You know, we supported Matt for sure with his Pride socks. Um, but I think we kind of missed him there a little bit. Yeah, next year. Um, what Time else? Stand up, so who else do we watch? So, you know, every, we watch so many. Cozy mm -hmm. Up Knits. Yep. Um, which I'm, I'm waiting for their... Knit all the yarn. Release. That's what it is. Knit all the yarn. Knit all the yarn. Yeah, that's Lisa. Um, Happy little yarn came out with hers. Like oh right yeah, after. it was so good to see you again, Amy. Amy. And then um, Cat Lady podcast with. Mm -hmm. 
I yeah, like yeah. seeing. Yeah, I like seeing. Um, what that's how we knew to like jump on her. Hell yeah, uh, her shop update. I saw it and I was like, I'm getting it. I know it looked really good. She got some really awesome colorways. She does. Yeah. Um, whatnot. Oh, Kathy speaking, speaking whatnot. of Andrea, hold on. She had her '80s mitts. The, oh yeah, uh, fingerless she had gloves. Released. Yeah, and like whoever did her pictures, it was really cute because it like. They, yeah, they were great. So check her out on Instagram. And oh, and then Caleb with the bearded pearl, yep. which Yay. episodes four and four point five, he got his volume all figured Yay. out. So that's great. We didn't have. Yay! Congratulations, Caleb. <laughs> I feel like that voice is like the voice that you heard over the loudspeaker in bowling alleys. Mm. Come get your shoes. <laughs> oh, that's what it reminds me of. Yeah. Um. And yeah, can you there's imagine a if our mic was not there's even a, on? Can you imagine? Um, yeah, there's there's a bunch that we watch, but we three new ones. Ready? Oh yeah. First one is on the needles with our friend Nancy from Trilogy Yarn and Kathleen. They just released episode number one. It was really great. Um, it's really cool. Um, you know, definitely that. I think it's fun to see a yarn dyer. Yeah, me too, but she's been knitting for 54 years or something, she said, which is ridiculous. She's super fast. Yeah. She's got like 5,000 sweaters on the needles. Yep, and Kathy, Kath, can we call you Kathy? I don't know. Are we friends yet? Um, She has some really good good, She has uh, a cowl, actually, that I'm Projects as well. She's a knitting, uh, uh, a blogger. Yeah, for Interweave? Mm Mm-hmm. Um, not, I can't remember. I, I'm, Maybe. I could be wrong. But it was, a, it was such a great speak. podcast yeah. um, for their first one. Yeah. You know, they're, they don't, like, live together. They're not related or anything like that. So they had to, you know, they were doing the right thing. They wore their, their masks during their podcast, which didn't take away from anything. No, it really um, didn't. And I appreciate them being safe, you know, because they're over in Spokane, Washington, um, which they're seeing a lot of, you know, new COVID cases and stuff like that. But um, great pro great podcast great projects she didn't turn her microphone on but we heard her just fine um so really really happy for the two of them um so if you haven't already check them out on the needles their the channel name is under um kathleen's uh name but if you search on the needles on youtube it'll come right up um correct and then the next one that we've found and they um and we were watching we watched them and then they mentioned us in their most recent episode so thank you ladies this one was knitting posse and they're in freaking connecticut, connecticut. Like, like like down the street seriously Not really so i don't know where now, they are wilton i believe so so this is now the fourth podcast that we know in connecticut we have us yep knitting posse yep once upon a um once gabby upon a, from once upon a yeah. corgi she has one. She's like the next town over, I believe. Yeah, Milford. And then the ladies from Knitters League. Yeah. Maybe we should all get together. Anybody else watch? Let's let's have a party. So the knitting social, posse, it's Kate, Kim, distance. Laura, and Lorian. Lorian. Right? Lorian. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and what I really love about them, too, is that they all were knitting different things, like sweaters, shawls. Um, and they are doing Zoom. Because obviously they can't be together. Yeah. Um, so that was, it was, it's. But it's not distracting. You know, sometimes like the Zoom ones are, can be a little bit, I think can be a little bit distracting sometimes. You can't see the project so well, but I yeah. think that they, they did a really good job. They do a good round table. Yeah. Because like, that. I, we have to, wa- I want to watch their, um, start from the beginning yes. and start watching. We're going to watch episode one. Yeah. Um, but it seems like the pat we've watched two episodes now, I think of theirs. Yeah. The last two. Yeah. And it seems like each time they podcast, they have a different person like. What do we uh, um, like? Not a, Mater D, <laughs> hosting or uh, DJing it or something? Yeah, like like um, the Knitters League does that too. Yeah, like they, MCing it. Yeah, like a master of ceremonies. Yeah. So like they kind of like round robin like who? Anyway, yeah. so really really you. great. So yeah. So check them nice out. Nice to meet as well. you guys. Yes, it was great to see. Really you. Thanks um, for watching exciting. Us. Yeah, it's really exciting. And then the next. It's weird one, hearing our names. It really is. Yeah, like totally. The next one is um Three Sisters Knit from oh, yeah. they're in Canada. They are. That in is Canada. Sheila and they're Margaret. Adorable. They are. Mm-hmm. They. I actually watched in ep, one of their mo, like I've watched a few of their most recent ones, and I went back and watched their first two episodes. I've watched so far yeah. too. Um, so they're just getting back into it. Like they're able to see each other, you know, as restrictions are getting lifted. Um, so it's. 
I, li- I like it's. It, I don't know. I just like I like their podcast. I like the projects that they work on. I like their on. flow, like their um, energy. It's they're very chill, and I love watching people because I can't do it yet. I love watching other knitters who can make um, alterations. Yeah. Or to to projects, and they they know what their end goal is, and yeah. they can achieve it. Because I'm I'm not that or. I'm not confident enough in my knitting to do that, so it's really fun to watch people who can. And I mean, I modify by accident. Well, yeah. I forget, and whatever. So, yeah, so those are three new podcasts to us, On the Needles, Knitting Posse, and Three Sisters Knit. So um, go check them out. They're yeah. all really great podcasts. Uh, the the Knitting Posse 2 is fairly new. I think they're, just under, they're about under 20 episodes, I believe. Um, On the Needles has their first one, and then Three Sisters, I want to say, just hit their... For three or four years, where they've yeah, been doing, they've been doing it for a little yeah. while now. Um, so that is podcast, and then before we hit the oh, this is a long one again. I knew it. Um, what we've been watching and reading. Great. So we have watched a ton of movies. Pose. That's not oh, a movie. I take guys, it back. Pose. Yeah, can we talk about Pose? All right. So the boys over at Fiber Hustle, Chip and Aaron, Chip and Aaron, recommended that we watch Pose. We watched. We watched. We watched. We're Pose. watching. We're watching Pose. We finished episode one. I mean, season, season one. one. We're in season two. Yep. It takes place in New York in the late eighties, early nineties. Mm-hmm. Um, it has to do with the LGBT community. Um, Most of the trans community. Tr- yeah, the trans community is the is the prevalent. Yeah. Um, yep. In the in and it's the trans um, African American and like we'll say. Hispanic, Latin, Spanish yeah. community. Yeah, and it's really interesting to see um, to that covers a lot of discrimination within yeah, the LGBT community, too. Like they're they're yeah. That. I, I so, could not believe it. It's like you know, obviously we're living in a a very different time, sad, different world. But um, to know that you know that this was going on well so it was so educational it, it was just very educational yeah. for me too and i don't want to you know we don't need to yeah go it's very educational that, um, the acting is fantastic unbelievable Unbel- yeah billy really. porter is that his name i'm pretty sure at pretel oh he preach is preach all day love him i like yeah I, he's gotta be pocket, like i know it's 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 really good um, so i would highly recommend checking it out i've learned a lot um, just about that culture, yeah. Like, and it's like our—it's com- it, really like it's, our community, our larger community that we just, you know. I still feel, and it's—I don't about, know. I still feel like you have to learn. You learn something every day, and, right? You know, you just need to continue to educate yourself. And yes, it's educational. It's not like a documentary or anything like that. But no, there, it's a, it it's hits. A comedy, I thought it hit, it's like a drama comedy, yeah. type of thing. And it's a—it is a feel good. Um, yeah, there's great. Ultimately, I think there's great moments. Like I teared up like a couple of times from like happy tears. You know, like oh he. You know, I don't want to give anything away, yeah. but yeah. So check that out. Um, totally. Movies we just watched last night on Netflix, brand new, made for Netflix with uh, Charlize Theron. Theron, Theron, Charlize Theron. Theron. Yeah, yeah. It was called um, the Old Guard. The Old Guard. I liked it. I liked it. I, I did too. Wanted more of Me it. Me too. I, wanted... I thought the production value was a little bit low for a movie. To be honest with you, I thought it was a TV show for a little while. I knew it was a movie, but thought it was a TV show for a little while. I th- I thought it was good. I yeah. I, I her it was good as too. an actress, I love her as an actress. Yeah. Um, I wanted more of the story. It's an action movie. I wanted more story. Yeah. I feel like this could be like a trilogy, mm-hmm. and that's what I kind of want out of it. Mm-hmm. Um, and they've set it up to do a. I think they've set it up to to continue that there might be another one. I don't know. Right. Um. So and this is that. where this is what spawned our superpower. But the superpower, because yep. the premise is that these are. Um, immortal. They're immortals. Yeah, immortals. They're, they're, some of the characters are mm-hmm. immortals. They, they don't can know be why. hurt and all that stuff, but they, um, yeah, they don't know why. So there's a lot of story. Like you want to, you want to know why. Like you want to know like what yeah. what the point is. Um, but it anyways, was entertaining. Yeah, it was good. Um, and then we did obviously a boatload of movies during July Fourth. So we did Ready Player One, which I love. I love it too. Uh, we did Star Wars, the new ones with. Um, the last three, so yep. we, what is it? Force Awakens, Last Jedi, and Rise of Skywalker. Rise of Skywalker. We did Police Academy. Oh one yeah. One day. Yeah, because like AMC had some like, like random like old thing. Yeah, so it was Police Academy. 
And can we talk Police what? Academy? Can Naked we talk Gun. About um, Steve Gutenberg from Police Academy? Mahoney? Um, yeah, he was he's a, a... He's a little hottie. In back the 80s. then, yeah. Like... That what? was his prime, for sure. Okay, Steve Gutenberg. We yeah. saw you. Well, I mean, like, yeah. He was very uh, popular back then. Yeah, I loved him, actually, in Cocoon, was one of my... Oh, I um, I was favorite in movies and Short Circuit. Short Circuit. I love Short Circuit. I love Short Circuit. I don't like the second one. I don't like the second one either. Yeah. I love Short Circuit. I love Cocoon. Um, and then he was in a movie with um, Chrissy Alley and the Olsen twins that was kind of like supposed to be... I don't know if it was supposed to be a modern day... Crap. Parent Trap. But kind of. Okay. It took place at a camp. I remember that. Really? Um, Interesting. So, yeah, we watched... So, that's pretty much what we watched. And then, oh, we watched two episodes of The Order on Netflix, which is Werewolves. Yeah. So, that's this season, is season two, two. Which we enjoyed the first season. I'm not um, sold yet on season two. We'll see. Yeah, I don't know how I feel I about season I feel two. About I do like... Um, we'll see. I, I like the yeah, story. I like the idea too. of it. So, I think that, it's interesting. That's our, that's our genre. That's our, like... That's our jam. Totes. And then... Reading wise, I have finished book two in the Iron Druid Chronicles by Kevin Hearn, which was called Hexed. I'm currently reading book three, which is called Hammered. There's nine books in the series, which I just found out about. I have another book that I want to read. So after book three, I may take a break from it, read the next book, go back. But then August and September and then October, November, December are all kind of spoken for for reading. So I don't know where I'm going to be with that. Yeah. I am reading the second book, um, Patrick Rothfuss, Roth, Rothfuss, I don't know, The Name of the Wind, I read, I finished that, and I'm on The Wise Man's Fear right now, which is the second book. I thought it was an only only a two-book series. I heard somebody on, on I don't know, on, our, on YouTube, one of our comments said that there is a third, but he's running into some trouble getting it out, which I'm a little bit bummed about because these are really good books, and I don't want there to be a huge cliffhanger. Um... I feel like he does a fantastic job creating the world. Um, you really feel like you're there. Um, so I think he did a really good. He does a really good job. Character development and all that. Um, it's an easy read, and it's great. I really like it. All right, and that I believe is it's that. a wrap. Another is it a wrap? long episode. It is. Check it is your right. notes because I feel like okay. So just to recap again, we're gonna do a live next sunday, sunday 2 p.m eastern 2 p.m eastern standard time um we will have gonna... a 300 3000 sub thread up later today in ravelry with our prompt it what superpower would you want yep we'll be drawing our prize our winners there next week next week and we'll show off um some of the yeah so we'll the show prizes. off the prizes for the current mm-hmm. mal and cal and we'll kind of do a hybrid and have it kind of be like a normal ish episode it'll be an interactive podcast totes live love it so that is everything guys i hope you guys have an amazing two weeks enjoy your knitting and your summer or winter depending on what part of the world you're in. yeah true somebody was just saying like over in like new zealand and australia Mm -hmm. it's their winter time Mm -hmm. um not that they get much of a winter like we do here on the east coast but yeah, so thank you, everybody, again, if you stuck around this long. We appreciate it. Um, if you like what you saw, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment. We always appreciate those, and we will see you all in, in a, a fortnight. fortnight.